I swear, don't swear. Infested, a.k.a. Verminous, is a Shudder original from France. It was written and directed by Sebastian Vanasek and written by Florent Bernard and takes place almost entirely in an apartment complex in suburban Paris where a near 30-year-old man named Caleb has just purchased a spider from a shop, a spider from the deserts of Dubai. And let's just say this is no ordinary spider after basically wanting to ingratiate it with his room of creatures from scorpions to worms and all kinds of creepy girlies this spider escapes and starts to wreak havoc and my oh my when the havoc gets unleashed Caleb and the few people that he knows they have to try and survive against all goddamn odds and this is one of the best goddamn creature features slash monster movies that I've seen in fucking years this movie was fucking fabulous it was scary it was chilling it made you care about the characters the mixture of practical effects and cgi effects was seamless and even though it's not the most wholly original concept you can actually see that the director slash writer and the other writer and the cast they actually put their passion their heart and soul into this so yeah Maybe not the most wholly original thing, but goddamn, this film was fucking terrific. I goddamn had a blast from beginning to end, from the opening sequence till the final goddamn shot. This film was fucking incredible. I'm not even kidding. Fucking incredible. Theo was great as Caleb. <laughs> and you had other characters. You had Mathis, um, Jerome Neal. If I do mispronounce any of these names even slightly i do apologize my french is not really up to snuff shall we say uh so uh jerome plays his friend and then you have uh mano uh lisa narco who uh basically is his sister and you know what she actually is uh pretty good as well like see what else lisa's been one standout to me was the character of lila uh sophia lesifer who my god my God, she's gorgeous, incredibly gorgeous. She also has a boyfriend named Jordy, who used to actually be friends with Caleb, and we find out why that friendship dissolved later on. But the main focus of this is the fact that these spiders are fucking mean. Really, really mean. They take over, they take over fast, and my God, they don't pull no damn punches. It is bleak, it is depressing, it is so goddamn good. I fucking loved it. I, uh, along with Exuma, the South Korean horror movie that probably is going to be out on streaming pretty goddamn soon, this is a one-two punch of incredible foreign horror stuff. I mean, this is just great. This is great goddamn shit. This is the kind of content I love to see on Shudder. And I need to see what else Sebastian will end up doing as far as, uh, you know, being a director. Great shit. Really, really great shit. Taking something that maybe has been done before, I mean, most famously in Sting, that came out, you know, about, oh, I think earlier this month, I actually got to see it in a um, on a special screening a couple weeks before. And Sting tried to mix comedy and spider creature stuff, and while it had a few decent body horror effects, it really was pretty much dog shit, in my opinion. Sting was. This, however, <coughs> found... Just the great balance of getting you to care about the main characters. Yeah, there's a lot of disposable characters. You're going to get that in any kind of horror movie, especially a monster movie. But you care about the characters. There's actual depth to them. The acting is also really good. Top, you know, top to bottom, great stuff. Great work by the cast. Really, really good practical effects. Really good practical effects. The CGI is seamless. A lot of really good shots here. Some twisty camera work, including one shot where it twists down a hallway where there's just spider webs and spiders everywhere. This is great stuff. And why are these spiders this way? We find out a little bit. There's a little minute amount of information, but other than that, these spiders are just mean. They're like, oh, okay, we're just going to kill because that's what we're going to kill. And also, these spiders are multiplying and everybody's going to be losing bowel control. By the way, if you are, you know, suffering from any kind of arachnophobia, you will not like this movie. Not that you probably wouldn't have been able to tell by the poster. This is basically the updated um, arachnophobia just without the humor. There's like a little bit of humor, maybe within the first 20 or so minutes. This movie, however, just goes full bore into the horror. I haven't enjoyed some foreign horror movie, you know, offering from Shudder since When Evil Lurks. Now, When Evil Lurks is on a whole goddamn different level, but this takes the creature feature stuff just and just just 
perfectly encapsulates how you goddamn do it. How you take something that in the hands of other directors might not have worked out all that well. And with passion and love and appreciation, this was so, so good. So goddamn good. I'm probably going to watch it again at some point. That's how much I loved it. I mean, hell, I watched When Evil Lurks a few times, and I'm going to watch this again. This is going to end up being one of my favorite movies of the year. This is fucking great. And it's also like an hour and 40 minutes. I did also like a couple of the <coughs> production companies that were with them. Uh, WTF Films, What the French Films, I imagine is probably what it, uh, what it means, and My Box Films. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. But yeah, great shit. Really, really great shit. I really appreciate the production values and the fact that this film was just, uh, you know, brought with such love and appreciation, and it was just so good. So goddamn good. And a tremendous creature feature. Absolutely incredible. Great stuff. I am going to check it out. And get into spoilers here in just a second, but I'm going to check it out again. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait to talk about this movie when I do my best movies of the year list because it's so goddamn good. But yes, if you have a Shudder subscription, please check it out. Please check it out as soon as you can. <laughs> no wonder um, critics and audiences were really, really praising it, especially the critics. When critics praise some foreign horror movies like this, okay, they were praising Exuma, they were praising this. Great shit. Really, really check it out. Getting into spoilers, though. Spoilers won't take very long because it's not really something you can spoil because it's just insane. Three, two, ones on Shutter. Spoilers. So, yeah, we have an opening scene. I didn't actually know where they were, the deserts of Dubai. And, yeah, this, uh, they try to smoke these spiders up. This one attacks this guy, and he's all riding on the ground. Other people are trapping these spiders and everything. Uh, no doubt to sell them on the black market. And the guy who's freaking out about the spider that's likely gotten into his very fiber and soul and his <clears throat> and everywhere in him, this guy in his party just cuts him. You had to cut me, man. <coughs> oh, you cut me too deep. He was trying to keep all the blood in his head, but then the spider killed him. Well, actually, it was the scimitar. But then <clears throat> we have French rap, uh, you know, over the credits. This probably would have played better if I knew French. I think I understood like two words. Um, so yeah, we have a guy, a uh, guy who owns a shop, Ali, fabulous he, selling all kinds of creatures and wares. And then we have Caleb buying a spider. Definitely, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Trying to have some fun here. So basically, he kind of runs a bit of a black market operation in this apartment complex where he, basically, him and his sister, uh, Mono, have lost their mother. The apartment complex needs a whole lot of work, a lot of work. And I mean, it's kind of one of those where basically people are living there. And even though there are some cool parts to it, it's also very dank and very dreary. And <clears throat> there are some great shots. And the fact that some of the lighting is motion lighting. Some of the lighting, you have to turn a switch and basically you can go down this hall and you got like a minute. And that won't come back into play at all. He calls the spider Rihanna. That was certainly a choice. The spider gets out. <clears throat> there is a uh, guy with a dog. The dog dies, by the way. I just should tell you that. I mean, I could have probably said that in the non-spoilers. Yeah, the dog dies, but fortunately it dies off camera. Because I probably would have had to <clears throat> maybe like, eh, because I don't like to see animals actually suffer. Spiders, though, the spiders can go to hell in this because they are just mean. I mean, there are good spiders, but whew, not these ones. They are nasty spiders. Um... <clears throat> There's this one lady that, you know, is kind of seen as, like, you know, the nice aunt or grandmotherly figure, so to speak, to paint on your familial relation. She's somebody that they really respect. But, obviously, you have, you know, uh, Caleb and uh, Mathis. They're, you know, they're running these, like, the sneaker operations, sneaker pimps. They want to. They want to. And that's a really dated reference, Micah. Who remembers the sneaker pimps? Six Underground, I think that's like the only song of theirs that anybody knows. Um, <clears throat> so basically, we, um, we, we just see the quick dissolvement where <laughs> some guy, he, <laughs> he puts on these shoes, but one of the spiders was in the shoe. See, Spike Lee was right, it's got to be the shoes. And the spider, you know, he kind of you know, tries to get rid of the spider, the spider kind of bites him. But then, spiders... All these spiders crawl out, and it's just really great and seamless. It just crawls right out on his goddamn arm, like all these spider babies and everything. Again, really good CGI. Really good shit. Um, 
the dank, the dankness of it, the fact that some parts of this apartment look good, other parts look dilapidated. <laughs> um, Caleb is uh, very protective of his bugs, shall we say. <clears throat> um, he's also protective of the spider, but then the spider escapes. He does love his sister, but feels that his sister... It, they're kind of at odds because of how each one chooses to deal with the grief of losing their mother, at least as best as I can figure it out. Because, again, this is mostly about killer spiders. But, um... Then the police suddenly show up after uh, the guy is eaten and devoured by the spiders, as opposed to eaten and not devoured by the spiders. And the police are going to quarantine them because, oh, if he's got an infection, then maybe you all do too. So, yeah, we get a little bit of social commentary about people being oppressed and everything. And also, the, uh, according to trivia on IMDb, the director <clears throat> slash writer, Sebastian, he wanted to, you know, utilize... You know, spiders as a way, like, of <clears throat> how certain people get, you know, spiders always get swat down, killed, and everything. I think that's why he did the opening in Dubai, <clears throat> about how Muslim people, or Arab people, rather, are uh, targeted. And some good social commentary here. At least that's what I read on IMDb's. I'm just going with that. But the great practical effects, like, really good work by the people involved. I'm sure if I tried to say their names, I probably would fail miserably, as I'm sure I failed to say the names of any of the cast members properly. And I do want to say if any of them are watching, thank you very much for tuning in. You did a great job. You're doing amazing. Seriously, you're doing amazing. Um, and then, basically, they have to hold themselves up in an apartment room. Um, they needed more tape, a lot more tape. Um, people were getting, oh god, this one scene just before that in the shower where Lila's uh, hiding, uh, Sophia, I'm just going to call her, uh, she's hiding, and just, you know, the spider, <clears throat> the spiders are attacking everything, spider, <clears throat> the spiders get everybody, like, one spider gets smashed and a bunch just, like, spring out and everything, it's like they disintegrate and just go into little bitty spiders crawling all over the place, but that's a great tense scene. They build the tension well where even if you could laugh a little bit, this movie does not allow you to feel anything except the mean-spirited nature of the spiders. And laying eggs and nesting in the, um, in, in the vents. And we see, I think the landlady or something like that, she, um, Asian lady, she gets some, gets some mask on, gets some bug spray and does all that and everything and does that. And then she, then she gets attacked and she dies. And it's great. There are so many, so many good scenes, so many good attack scenes in this. So, yeah, the, uh, they take over this apartment complex almost instantly. But the thing is, it still feels like it's built. And the overriding thing is, you know, I swear, don't swear. But then, you know, because he doesn't like to swear. He likes to be a thief. He likes to bring spiders that basically kill every tenant in the apartment complex that he lives in. Uh, but he doesn't want to swear. Um... <clears throat> There's this part where they go down this hallway and it's just twisting and turning and stuff like that. Just the camera keeps rotating and rotating and rotating. It's really, really good stuff. I mean, really good. That's an incredible shot. And, um, yeah, they somehow managed to make it down this hall where somebody has to basically twist the light and <clears throat> keep it going as long as they can and then twist it and then go down themselves. So the sister <clears throat> nearly gets killed. The police uh, won't let them out. They smoke bomb them. Smoke bomb! And then Krieger runs out. And then... <clears throat> They basically have to fight their way back through. Jordy ends up, unfortunately, getting killed. So, yeah, Lila's a little bit upset. <clears throat> I don't blame her. That's her boyfriend. I'd be upset losing her, too. But, yeah, they need to... If you have light on them for some reason, they don't, re they, they don't like that. That's not really explained. I mean, maybe it's because they were found in, oh, I don't know, holes in the ground. In the Dubai desert, that might be a reason. But... The music is also really good. The The desperation is palpable. <laughs> and at one point, they throw a Molotov cocktail after creating that because they're going to they're gonna find a way to get the spider, you know, torch the spires. Except then the spires get on the ceiling and say, ha, you thought that was going to fix us. Woo! And then they manage to get into a guy named Giles, um, his apartment. There was a bald guy that basically got attacked by a whole bunch of spires and everything. That might have been Giles. I actually don't remember if that was his character. There were a few characters where if they if they mentioned their names at all, it totally washed out of my memory. 
So as great as this movie is, as memorable as it is for so many great scenes, some of the characters aren't distinct enough to really remember. But they're in this apartment, and then the cops show up. <laughs> and, yeah, basically, everybody's, like, just freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. The co uh, one of the cops gets locked in hole number one, arm bar, or cross arm breaker. And, yeah, then the best friend's bitten. He decides, hey, wait a second, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to this door, I'm going to bust through, I'm going to release the spire, and then you guys can escape. So then they have to escape Evil Dead style through a parking garage. <clears throat> and... They somehow managed to, uh, actually, shockingly, despite the fact that that really doesn't make a lot. That, that's one of the only things about the ending. I go, oh, they managed to get out. They managed to open the door, <coughs> or Caleb did. And the two uh, women are alive along with Caleb. <coughs> and I guess since they got the light in there, I guess light, you know, bring, uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The spiders are, just, uh, the spiders end up, I basically, uh, I guess, got, got demolished. <coughs> Um, when the apartment got, you know, flattened. So, oh, or the spiders just managed to crawl underground. And we're going to get a sequel. <clears throat> so, there was also this picture that he had of, like, him and Jordy. They were going to own their own reptile farm. And then he got an iguana, and the iguana bit him. And that kind of ended their friendship. Um, even though Jordy never actually said that that's what, that, you know, the iguanas who bit him, he said actually it was a scooter accident. So it turns out Caleb basically just got rid of his friend for no reason. <clears throat> and then he buries the picture in the shoebox. And then finds a spider that crawls on him. It's not one of those spiders. And he puts it on there <clears throat> on the log. And, it, and then blows it away. And then that's it. And then we get some French wrap to close it. Uh, a plus. He gets an A plus. I went a lot longer on those spoilers than I thought. But this was really, really fucking terrific. Please check it out as soon as you can. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ripplin. I'll see you soon.